No, he's doing circles. That's not a flathead. Oh, this is a decent fish. Yeah, he's trying to shake me off. Nice silver trevally. Morning, guys. <clears throat> Just down at one of my favorite bays um, that you would have seen on my channel a million times before. So, yeah, light tackle. Try to hit some brim of the morning. Didn't feel like taking the kayak out today, so sometimes I just like to keep it simple. Take out one rod and a few lures and just pepper the edges, see what's around. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get off. Flathead, I think. Small one. Oh, did he swallow it? Oh. It's a downside when they grab it on the drop like that sometimes, you don't feel it. And um, by that time they've swallowed it. All right, these little guys are everywhere. Another flathead, this one feels decent. Oh, he's doing circles. That's not a flathead. Oh, this is a decent fish. It is a flathead, is it? Oh, it's a Trev. Where'd I put my net? It's all the way over there. I'll take him for a walk. I gotta go easy on him because of how soft their mouths are. Check this out, I'm walking this Trev. Oh, I don't wanna lose it. All right, just take it easy. Where's my net? Where's my freaking net? There it is. Oh, it's a nice Trev, man. Six pound leader. Hopefully he goes for another run so he can wear himself out a bit because these things will go forever. It's funny, my brother just sent me a message like 15 minutes ago. He got one as well. I don't know where he is, but he got a Trev as well. <clears throat> so they're, they're coming in with the colder weather. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
chest. It's a nice one, man. That might be my biggest treb so far. I haven't caught one in ages, actually. Wow, he's a uh, 47. It's a respectable Trev. How's that, guys? 47. Nice silver Trevally. Beautiful. <clears throat> now, I remember the first time I caught one of these, my heart was beating like a million miles, miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, it'll be sweet. Nice. Surprisingly, it didn't fight that well. Not compared to Trevs I've got in the past, anyway. Yeah. Oh, he busted me off. It wasn't even a good flathead. Oh, well. That's why you keep the head under the water. I was impatient. I was just trying to water skate in. Yep. Far out. These things are everywhere today. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to stick your head above the water this time. Nice try. Oh, and he busted me off. No. Oh, I keep leaving my net behind. <laughs> no. If that was a quality fish, I'd be so mad. Oh, go away, man. I don't want to catch any more flathead. What are you? A flathead? No, I don't think you are. Brim boss, nice brim. Found ya. Can I just lift him? Yeah. Not bad. Oh, he's pissing everywhere. No. Oh, man. Why did I wear white? Mistakes were made. Oh man, gross. Grab that. He just snatched it. Didn't like it when I set that hook. That's what I love about using plastics on a fast action rod. They, they cut sick when you smash that hook in. And he just shat on me. Fucking hell. more flatty
Got one. Flathead. We're just hovering it over those mangroves. It's not a bad flathead too. Oh, he's actually, yeah, a good flathead. Just hovering the paddle tail over the mangroves where the, I saw the jelly shrimp. Nice colours on it. <laughs> yeah, I'd say about 50 or just above 50. It's a nice one. I must have got about 10 flathead over the next couple of hours. If I show all of them this video will go for 30 minutes plus, no problem. Eventually I did see some surface activity though. Some salmon over here I might as well keep chucking at them. Even though they're fussy as fuck man. Finally hooked up. <sighs> that was a good fish. Fuck. Oh, it took me so long just to get one to hit. He came off. <sighs> so frustrating, man. If this makes it to the cart, it, it won't show. Um, how long I've been doing this. Obviously, I try to compress my videos down to 10 minutes, 15 minutes sort of tops. But I've literally been walking this bay for almost probably three hours. Is it three hours? Yeah, maybe more, just to get one of these guys to hit. And they finally did, and he came off. Salmon. Salmon or a mullet? I'm pretty sure it's a salmon. Yeah, he's trying to shake me off. He's not running, he just keeps trying to do head shakes. Gotcha. Do not come out. Come on. Gotcha. Wow, 
fish and what sort of fish is it? Australian salmon. Oh, wow. And that's a good size one too. No, oh, not really. Like, it's pretty average, but they get big. Oh, yeah. eating, I'd imagine. Oh, I don't eat them from here. Don't you? No. So put it back or? Yeah, yeah. Just take photos and put it back. Okay, well done. Thank you. Gotcha. Took me a while, but we got there in the end. I'm a bit Alright, took me two days of target them targeting them specifically, but I got there in the end. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Dedication will pay off. Time and dedication. Thanks. Australian salmon. Oh, yeah, they come up. They come up river in the winter. No, you get bigger than that here. People don't understand how how good the fishing is in Parramatta River. Yeah. You can, but there's like a dietary like uh, limit. So for example, like brim will have like, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but they'll say like 200 grams per month or whatever. I don't, I, it's been a while since I read up on it, but um, you can do it. It's just, uh, it's probably not recommended. With the tailor and the salmon, they come in from outside the harbor. So it's probably not as high risk, but salmon, Australian salmon aren't known for their good eating anyway. Yeah. So now I just got to wait for him to wake up and uh, hopefully he swims off okay. There you go. But yeah, my biggest one in here is uh, 65 centimeters. Whoa. So almost twice the size of that. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. A lot of fun on a light tackle as well.